Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another presidential election prediction video. We are now just less than four weeks away until election day and in many states they're just about to begin opening up early voting. Before we go ahead and dive into this for today, per usual, leave your thoughts and comments below. Do you think that Kamala Harris is going to win or do you think that Donald Trump is going to win? Very interested in hearing your insights, but let's go ahead and dive into it. And per usual, we are going to be starting out with these states that look like they're more than likely going to be going Kamala Harris's way. These aren't necessarily leaning Kamala Harris, nor are they battleground states. These are states that are for sure going to be voting for Kamala Harris. And as you can see up on the screen, she does have 193 electoral college votes, at least to start out, that consist of California, Oregon, Washington, Hawaii, Colorado, Illinois, New York, Vermont, most of Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and D.C. Now, as far as the states that for sure Trump already has locked up, he has 131 electoral college votes to start out that consist of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and South Carolina. So at this point, we do have 214 electoral college votes left up for grabs. A lot of them are still going to be leaning towards either Trump or Harris. And then at the end, it's really going to come down to about seven or eight really battleground states that could really go either way still at this point in time. But let's go ahead and start out in the congressional district of Nebraska, CD number two in Nebraska. That is the city of Omaha. Right now, Kamala Harris is looking very strong there. That most recent New York Times poll, she is a plus nine in Nebraska CD2. So Kamala Harris is going to be taking that one. And then Donald Trump is looking very strong in Maine, Congressional District number two. In that most recent poll, he is up by seven. So we are going to be giving Trump to Maine CD2 and Kamala Harris to Nebraska CD2. Then as far as Virginia goes, right now this doesn't even look like it's necessarily a battleground state or even a lean state. It looks like Kamala Harris is actually very strong in the state of Virginia. In that most recent poll, she's leading by 11, she's leading by 8, and another poll by the Hill slash Emerson. So Kamala Harris is going to be taking the state of Virginia. And then Kamala Harris is also going to be taking the state of New Mexico as well. In that most recent poll, she is leading by 6. Then as far as Texas goes. Trump is looking very strong in that state. In that most recent poll, he is leading by seven. In fact, there's not any poll of recent where Kamala Harris even comes in, comes within four. So Donald Trump is going to be taking the state of Texas. If we look at an updated map there now up on the screen, Harris now has 212 electoral college votes, 172 to Trump with 154 electoral college votes left to go. Let's go ahead and dive into a few more states. As far as Ohio goes, Donald Trump is looking very strong there. In that most recent poll by the Washington Post, he is leading by six. So we are going to be giving Ohio to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is also going to be taking Florida as well. In the most recent poll, he's leading by four. However, according to that poll by New York Times and Siena, he's actually leading by a whopping of 14 points. If he ends up beating Kamala Harris by 14 points in the state of Florida, that would be some crazy stuff there. So if we look at the recent updated map, now we have Donald Trump now in the lead at 219 to Kamala Harris at 212. Now let's go ahead and swing out west to Nevada. We're in that most recent poll by the Wall Street Journal. I don't think this is necessarily correct if we just look at the other polls there where they're much closer within one to three points. But in that most recent poll by the Wall Street Journal, Donald Trump is also leading by a large amount by six points. So we are going to be giving Donald Trump to the state of Nevada. Then as far as New Hampshire goes, it looks like Kamala Harris does have the state of New Hampshire locked down pretty good. She's up by seven, 11, and four points in the most recent three polls. So we are going to be giving Kamala Harris to the state of New Hampshire. Updated map up on the screen, 225 to Trump, 216 to Harris, 97 electoral college votes left to go. Let's start out in Minnesota. In that most recent poll by Rasmussen Report, she is leading by three. We are going to be giving Kamala Harris to Minnesota. 
Updated map on the screen, Harris now takes the lead. She's at 226 to Donald Trump's 225. And the remaining states left up for grabs. These six remaining battleground states are really ones that could go either way. We have Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina. Those three states are going to be leaning towards Trump. Trump is going to be the favorite in these three states. If Kamala Harris is able to win one of these three states, more than likely she's probably going to win the election. So these three states are very, very important from, for Trump to pick up. He's going to have to win these three states and then one out of the final three states between Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Even if Trump wins Arizona, Georgia, and North Carolina, as long as Kamala Harris can lock down that blue wall with Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, she can still win the election. But if she can possibly steal either, you know, Arizona, Georgia, uh, which are two states that Joe Biden won in 2020 against Donald Trump, then more than likely she's going to pick up this election. But with that said, let's go ahead and start out in the southeast down in Georgia. Trump does have a narrowly, a half point advantage on average. In that most recent poll by the Hill slash Emerson, he is leading by one point. So we are going to be giving Donald Trump a big victory in Georgia. Then as far as North Carolina goes, this is also very close as well. Right now on average, he is leading by a half point. And in that most recent poll by the Hill slash Emerson, he's also leading by one point. So Donald Trump is going to be given to North Carolina as well. And then finally, as Arizona goes, Trump actually has a much bigger advantage here. Although we do have a recent poll by the Wall Street Journal where Kamala Harris actually has a two-point advantage. However, in that most recent poll by the New York Times slash Siena, he's actually leading by a whopping five points. So with that said, we are going to be giving Donald Trump the trifecta. Out of those three states, he's going to be picking up Arizona as well. That gives him an advantage now 268 to 226. We have 44 electoral college votes left up for grabs between Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Once again, Trump just needs to win one out of these three final states, whereas Kamala Harris has to win all three. Let's go ahead and start out in Pennsylvania. On average, Trump actually leads by 0 0.1 points, and he's leading by 1.2 points and 1 point uh, in some of the recent polls. However, in that one by the New York Times slash Siena, the most recent poll, Kamala Harris is actually leading by three points. These are really all over the place, but with that said, we are going to be giving Kamala Harris to the state of Pennsylvania. We now just have two states left. We have Wisconsin and we have Michigan. Let's go ahead and start out in Wisconsin. This is very, very close. We have the most three recent polls, a tie between the Insider Advantage, Wall Street Journal, and the Hill slash Emerson. This is going to be an extremely close state. However, in the two polls before that, the one by Quinnipiac and the one by Trafalgar Group, Trump was leading by two and one points. So with that said, we are going to be giving Wisconsin to Donald Trump, which is going to be more than enough to secure his victory in the 2024 election. But with that said, we're going to go ahead and move on to Michigan, though, because hypothetically speaking, maybe Kamala Harris does take the state of Wisconsin. So what happens in Michigan then? Well, on average, Trump actually leads by almost one point. He's really taken a big, big you know, advantage in the state of Michigan. He has a lot of momentum in this state. And right now, in that most recent poll, he is leading by two points. And this day in history, back on October 12th in 2020, Biden had an average lead of seven points in the state. And Hillary Clinton had an average lead of 9.6 points. In 2024, though, Trump has an average lead of 0 0.9 points. So it looks like Donald Trump is looking very strong in the state of Michigan. We are going to be giving Donald Trump to Michigan as well, which would give him 293 electoral college votes compared to Kamala Harris's just 245. With that said, we still have less than four weeks to go before the election, and we have a few more of these videos. It's going to be very, very interesting in a very, very close election. With that said, leave your thoughts and comments below. Do you agree with this map? Do you disagree with this map? And which states do you disagree with? Leave your thoughts and comments below. I would definitely love to read them, but that's all we have for today's video, and I will see you in the next one.